Okay, y'all. Um, all right, so welcome everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for everyone that's going to watch the playback. I was not even going to come up on this live. I'm going, I was trying my best to um, not make any like COVID-19 videos like I did the whole social distancing challenge, which you all can see um, on my Facebook page. But um, And I did a video telling everybody to be careful on my YouTube channel. But I just saw something that really, really, really struck a nerve with me. And I don't even know this person. But it's really hitting home. And um, I was going to write a post about something similar to this earlier, but I didn't because I had to meet with my group and I had to just do things for school. Um, I, I'll be honest and say to y'all, like, and I'm not going to, hey, uh, Mandy, thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm not going to, I usually don't wait for people to, like, people start coming in. So if y'all come in and say hi, I can't see everybody that's, coming in but thank y'all for tuning in i really really appreciate it um but i seriously this this has struck a nerve with me i want to be honest and say i was practicing social distancing but i was one of the people that was upset like by it and i wasn't upset by the fact that we had to you know give people six feet and things of that nature but as a person that's single and that stays by themselves and has been like pretty much like you know just how I was raised by myself, raising myself. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I It just had, it didn't work for me mentally. You know, we trying to finish this last semester, things of that nature. Now, remind y'all, I had to rewatch the Antoine Fisher movie. Um, and, you know, I could kind of relate to a lot of things he went through. So I was already somewhat emotional, but I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, it's been a good week. It's been a good day. Now, I didn't really go outside today. I had opened my door because it was hot. And as you know, on Zoom, I had to meet with my group and it was hot and I didn't want to turn on my air conditioning. So I, I opened a door, y'all, you know, because I test the weather like that. I, I look at weather.com, but I test the weather by, you know, sticking my hand out the window and seeing what the weather may be. And I saw all these people outside. Now, my y'all, you know, it was almost 70 degrees. It was supposed to be really nice. I didn't even, I wasn't even aware of this until I looked at weather.com when I was talking to my um, group member from our project for one of my projects. I got to meet with the group, a different group tomorrow. And he's in that same group. But anyways, y'all, I'm like, I literally was going to write a Facebook status and say, it's too many people outside and they all clustered together. They were not practicing social distancing. When I was in Schnucks, I went um, grocery shopping the day before yesterday. People were, you know, it looked like they were trying their best to practice social distancing. So I applaud everybody. But I will tell y'all, like, I had walked. You know, I'm trying to, sometimes I could overeat out of stress. And I had walked and then I had took um, public transportation. Because I just kind of, you know, the buses looked pretty empty. And I was just like, okay, you know. Let me get on this bus, but lo and behold, the moment I decide to get on the bus, it's all kind of people on there. And when I say they were not practicing social distancing, they were not. I mean, they were all talking to each other and it was a certain population, you know. Um, I, I don't know if they were um, recovering from, it seemed like they always in a program together. And I'm a, you know, clinical social work student msw so i could kind of tell these things and i lived in the community almost a year so you could you could just kind of tell when people you know they talking about the same thing i overheard their conversation so i could tell what population this was you know and i'm just like i was getting annoyed because i'm like y'all talking and laughing all loud and it's a whole bunch of y'all getting on a bus together at one time and y'all didn't even try to like sit apart from each other and i was so annoyed at my spirit but again I did not post about this. I just, you know, did a mental check and like, okay, people is starting to get warm outside and they're starting to throw away this social distancing thing. After I read the article, now, mind you, I have a compromised immune system. I have a friend that really super have a compromised immune system and he lives in Iowa city. Um, and I knew how important it was. Like, I don't have a mask. Obviously, I was looking for gloves. It's so funny how God works because maintenance had came by today and he had to fix my shower assist thing because I used a suction cup thingy. It's not like a they couldn't install a bar inside my bathroom. Y'all know I have herniated disc or whatever from, you know, when I hurt myself. 
But anyways, he said, do you have sanitation wipes? I'm like, to be honest with you, I've been to the store several times. I couldn't find anything. So I kind of gave up. They wouldn't even, they won't even allow you to purchase these things online either. So he said, hold on. He gave me, he wiped, you know, off my little shower bar thing. And he gave me the thing. He said they had got a truckload. He had four extra ones. Um, hey, Uncle Allen. And he, you know, just gave it to me that he said, do you have hand sanitizer? Now, I, I believe in washing my hands. I wash my hands so much that my sorority bracelets are not even blue and yellow. Literally, I'm not lying. They were just given to me and the color is coming off. And it's not because they're old, because they're not. It's because like I already was practicing, like I cover my mouth. I mean, things you think is common sense. And this is what this video is about. Things you think is common sense. Like if you cough, if you sneeze, you cover your mouth. I read this article of this black man and he looked like my brother Simeon. And this is why I think also it touched me even more. He said, an older woman, I don't know how old she was. He's a bus driver in Detroit, Michigan. His name is Jason Hartgrove. I believe I'm saying his name right. Hey, Sora. Hey, Ashley. So thank y'all for tuning in. Um, I just read this article. He made a video. Literally, he was like, you know, I try to be professional. The, you know, I don't blame the city. I don't blame the government. I don't blame, you know, nobody. I blame people that get on the bus. He said, this lady, it was 89 people on the bus. I don't even know how that's possible, but I guess in the city of Detroit, like I am originally from Chicago, so I guess I do understand. But he said it was 89 people on the bus. This lady was standing up coughing everywhere. He said, and it sounded like it sounded like it lasted for a couple of minutes. It don't even matter how long it lasted. Lasted for you to just be coughing and sneak, you know, and not cover your mouth. That makes that pisses me off so much. But y'all make a long story short. This man died two weeks later. How do you how do you how do you explain that? You got a man that provide for his family. He knew the risk. A lot of, I, I just went and did my research. I was reading that it's a lot of, you know, Detroit workers that worked for the bus system. They had quit because it was like, basically they weren't taking any protective measures to keep this man or keep workers safe. And that's why, like, it's so funny because after spring break, I literally, like, I was applying for jobs again, you know, interviews and so i was like i'm gonna start you know working this semester the COVID 19 hit like hard it was already here it hit hard and i'm like shoot i just had the flu over um spring break like shoot i can't catch no COVID 19 not to say that i will die but um you know if you have a compromised system a compromised immune system your chances of dying is very likely no matter how old or young you may be so I'm just saying to y'all, and I've been wanting to say this, but I've been keeping my mouth closed and I've been keeping my thumbs to myself. We should not need a pandemic to tell your F and A to wash your hands. And y'all know I'm a woman of God. One thing I try not to do, I struggle with sometimes when I get upset and emotional user curse words. So I'm going to try to not operate on my emotions, but I'm upset. I'm hurt. Like I literally i'm trying not to cry right now because like i said this man made a whole video and died of corona the covid 19 virus two weeks later cover your mf and mouth let me tell you something when i was i live in graduate apartments right and one of the freaking maintenance man a painter to be exact this person gonna come and sit right next to me Y'all, I try not to be rude. I was, I just was looking like, and he already seemed like a person that's not super hygienic. He's always at the computers. It's like, don't you have a job to do? These computers are really for students like myself that's trying to get their work done. That really, you know, you kind of struggle focusing in your home. Like, why, the, why are you at these computers, sir? He's an older guy, you know. This man go come. He is so funny because he usually sit at the Apple computer, which is opposite it's to my right and it gives you space and it's computers across across from me like behind me where i was nobody else there you gonna come and sit right next to me kind of coughing 
almost died. So the spirit was like, you better show some sign and get him from around you. I was like, I was just like, oh, you know, and he finally moved the guy up, but I should have reported him. And next time I will. Because he, I, I, I even said that to somebody that'd be cleaning up when a maintenance work. It's like, who is that guy that, you know, somebody, I never see him doing no work. And I said, don't repeat it. She's like, well, he's a painter. You know, she ain't really say anything. But Mandy, thank you. She said, preach, stay safe, girl. You know, it's, it's hard out here. And y'all know, so well, y'all don't know. I just had an MRI. Um, when was that? Monday. So, you know, I took the. I took as much safety measures I could take. You know, I don't have a mask. I, I do see that people are making masks with their shirts, things of that nature. Um, so I, it's not like I could completely stay in the house because I still have physical therapy. I still have to go to the doctors. They did postpone my surgery um, that I really do need, but I understand they got to take the safety measures that they need to take to not whatever catch it or maybe they don't got the right surgical mask. I don't know. I do not know. But what I'm saying to y'all is I'm really starting to understand. Like I said, I was practicing social distancing. So don't don't mistake nothing from this video. Don't take it like, oh, she wasn't practicing it. No, I was just like from a mental health perspective, the way I understood it at the time, I wasn't feeling it like a whole bunch of other people from, you know, across the world and our nation. Um, because obviously the COVID-19 has disrupted our lives so much, but to see that a man that was doing his job and somebody have the audacity to be coughing and you don't cover your mouth and this man died because you're nasty. A hey, two weeks later, it makes me very upset. I don't care if it was a woman. I don't care if it was a damn rabbit on the fucking street. I don't care if it was a dog cover your mouth and it should not take no dang on virus for you to f freaking know that. It should not take no virus for you to wash your hands. It's too many of y'all. I be in these restaurants. I be at school in my building. Well, it don't happen in my building. But I be in, you know, different places around campus. And so many people will um, use the bathroom. You hear the toilet flush, so they use the bathroom and walk out. Now, I say that because, you know, I had, during our uh, conference, I had already used the bathroom wash my hands. I came back to fix my stockings or my dress or something. Something was need to be changed. And I had went in the stall and just like, you know, kind of fixed it. And then I had to wash my hands because I didn't want nobody to think I was one of those nasty, just trifling, inhumane people. And this is what I'm I'm going to leave y'all with. I feel like if you cough, I don't give a D if you got an allergy. If you cough and sneeze, you need to be charged with terrorism. And you don't cover your mouth. That's what I mean. Because I, I got allergies. I literally had went outside the other day and I came back. I had to get the flow nays out. And my doctor just wrote me another prescription. I should have got more flow nays, but I, I might have to need to get another one. I got emergency in hell as well. But everything started flaring up. I said, oh, do I got the COVID? <laughs> do I got the, and I, I'm not making light of the situation, but no, it was just, it's allergy season. Amen. And we, you know, we still have other ailments as humans that's going on. It don't stop because COVID-19 that came up on the scene. So I, I just, I just really want to leave y'all with that. You know, sanitizer before COVID-19 does not replace washing your hands. Sanitizer, and I'm, I'm talking about some separate from COVID-19 right now, it's in the case that you do not have soap and water. You cannot utilize soap and water at that moment. So you have to use hand sanitizer. Now, again, I use both. I wash my hands. I sanitize now with everything that's going on. I Lysol my door handles. And I'm not talking about the the regular, like the spray. I'm talking about the spray you need to use soap and water with because, again, when I went to the store, the um, sanitizer was out, so I could not utilize the sanitizer that you spray in the air, okay? Um, but yeah, I, I just, again, rest in heaven, rest in peace. Mr. Jason Hargrove, it breaks my heart. Um, it breaks my heart because as I said in Bible study, this is starting to hit home now. You start to see more people that you know, this is already a small world. More people that you know, that look like you. You know, I used to see a lot of memes from 
certain people and population saying that we can't get the corona and jokes about the ginger. I understand you have to use humor to get over things. I use a lot of humor to keep from crying or getting too deep. I get it. But at this point, it's people that I know that's catching the coronavirus. It's people that I know I see on Facebook, they posted, they tested positive and thank God they not dying. Um, but it's real. And it's a friend. I'm not going to say her name. She shared me. She literally had the symptoms to the second power and she cured herself. This is a true story. Again, we have to protect others. If you think you sick, if you, whether you think you have COVID or not, stay at home. Because I love this friend. I, I'm just using her for an example. She was about to come out here for my surgery. The spirit told me this person, because, you know, she sometimes have colds a lot. And I understand because I have GERD and it gives me flu-like symptoms. But the spirit revealed to me that she was more than a uh, normal cold sick. I text her. I said, hey, you know, after she told me she still had the sniffles because we talked about her bringing tissue, blah, blah, blah. And um, the spirit was just like, you need to have your sorority sister look after you because this friend may not be the best person to take care of you at this time if she has a cold. Come to find out who this is because I've never shared it with not even my other best friends. So no one knows who I'm talking about. Only this person, if she see this live, would know. Um, she blacked out. True story. She blacked out everything. She had to sit in bathtub of ice. I'm not going to get into how this virus started. That's a whole nother topic that I'm not personally publicly going to get into because I don't know. But I will say it's here and it's real. At this point, I will try to find me a mask if I have to go out. Or I will get creative. I will use a shirt, a diaper. I saw somebody use a diaper. People, would, He did look like the scorpion off of Combat, okay? Flawless victory, finish him. I, I will say, okay, he did look like that. Hey, Auntie Jennifer. But I'm going to have to create creative and put some over my face. I do have sorority scarves that I could put. Because I've been thinking about using my sorority scarf to cover my nose. Just to cover, you know, from this section on down. Um... I, I I don't I like I like the covering look. So if I have to kind of cover my hair like kind of like a hijab thing going on, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, <coughs> I'm gonna have to start covering because people die for real. And when I see people outside, I understand if you gotta go outside. But if you coughing and if you sneeze and you're not covering your mouth, you're not protecting others. And and you you're not practicing social distancing. These people's not practicing no social distancing. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I seen all these people outside. Like it's it's re it's a normal day. Ain't no pandemic going on. I ain't saying you can't come outside because I think I need to get my walk in for my mental health. But when I see clusters of you, don't get on social media talking about y'all practicing social distancing and y'all really not. Y'all really not. Because even if it's your friends and your 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 family, you're supposed to be practicing social distancing, y'all. So I'm going to leave y'all with that. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Nothing wrong with, you know, I guess as long as all y'all healthy and y'all practicing safety measures and it's two or three gathered together. Because, you know, I miss church. I miss all those things. I miss going to group aerobics. I missed all of that. But I, like I said, I already was practicing it. It just was bothering me a little bit. I will be practicing and taking it more safely and um, rest in peace to all the people that's unfortunately passing away from this virus. Um, no one should have to die alone. So I want y'all to think about that. This man that was going to work to provide for his family and his job was not protecting him. That's why I ain't finna be, no, no, if it ain't remote, you ain't gonna see me. You ain't gonna see me. Because these jobs... They gonna still be putting in ads for your position when you dead in that grave. And, and and guess what? God forbid, if you die from COVID, you dying alone. You died alone. Your family can't visit you like that. And it's already if you don't die from COVID, your funeral they you can't have a certain amount of people in the building. 
You can't have a certain amount of number of people gathered. So y'all forgive my language. I'm upset. You know, I'm upset. I don't got to know you to be affected by somebody death. It's too much. It's starting to hit closer to home. And I just said this in Bible study Tuesday night over Zoom. Over Zoom. So I didn't mean for this video to be, I don't know how long. Shoot. Facebook ain't telling me. I don't know how long this video been. But I love y'all. And pray for me. Because this ain't been easy. But I, shoot. I, I, the Lord has been giving me peace. Because like I say, y'all see me doing my little walks. And one of my sorority sisters came over. That helps me not feel totally alone. Nobody should have to feel alone whether you got the COVID, the, the coronavirus or not. So I, I'm praying right now for this nation. I'm praying for this planet. That earth will be healed. That during this time, we will use this time to come together. And I ain't just talking about with your immediate household. I'm talking about as a human race. Because there's only one race that's a human race. And I'm serious. I'm not just saying that. I don't just get up on here to be talking. Now, I don't hardly get up on here. But I had to get up on here. My spirit is vexed. And we need more, you know, I see these pastors. I know y'all doing the best y'all could do, some of y'all. But we need more people. Don't do no fake mental health check. I'm doing a mental health check. Y'all good? Fake as ever. You know what? Sh shut up. Shut up, Pam. If you're going to do a mental health check, be ready for people that's going to be like, I'm struggling right now. This is affecting me. This is affecting my life. Are you just going to be like, well... I'm going to just give you a quick word real quick. No, you need to be spiritually and mentally and clinically available. You ain't, we ain't really, some of y'all ain't doing nothing else. So y'all don't do no fake mental health checks because now you're stepping in my territory and I'm going to call you out. You're going to do a mental health check? Be ready to give counsel. And I'm not shooting those shots, but I'm saying what's real because let me tell y'all something. This pandemic is exposing what some of us already knew, but it's exposing people. It's, expo it's, it's, it's exposing all of these people that we exalted. Uh-uh. This, this, let me tell y'all something. This pandemic is going to wipe the slate clean. We are going to be able to rewrite history, but we got to get through this. And we got to protect ourselves and other people. Cover your mouth Wash your hands during this pandemic and after this pandemic is way over. And with that, I'm going to leave y'all. God bless. Peace.